Nick Cohen, great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From TD Garden in Boston, tonight, the Boston Celtics taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. One by the Bucks. Holiday to Allen. Jay, 44 wins for the Bucks a year ago. Seventh best record in the East. In your mind, foundation, is it in place in Milwaukee? The foundation is on its way, but it always seems like it comes down to injuries and lack of chemistry for the Bucks. And Chris Middleton on his own island hits it from three. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Brown with it up top. They're down three. To Horford. Flushes it home. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Milwaukee with the basketball. To Adeta Kumbo. Here comes the screen. Driving right to the basket. A drive baseline. Stuffs it down with authority. Huh, that probably won't be the last time we see a dunk from him tonight. Maybe sometimes you should send a message. Give him a hard foul. Don't let it be so easy. Brown into the front court. Down three. Tatum. His first effort off the mark. Pass to the rim. Throws it down off the alley you pass. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. To Horford. Nothing going here on that drive. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. To Holiday. Middleton. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Misses the first. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Brown with it up top. Trailing by four. To Horford. Here comes the screen. Horford. Off the assist. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Bucks basketball to Middleton. Ideta Kumbo. Takes stock of the floor to Ideta Kumbo. The Bucks with four to shoot. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to do with the defender all over you. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Three for four. Good start. That was a tough shot. The guy was in your pocket. He even contested the shot. Everything was going according to plan until then. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. Just a ball handling wizard. Still putting people under his spell. Mm. Giannis in control of the basketball. The score 10 to 8. A pass taken away by the Celtics to Jalen Brown. Screen coming. J. 
Jay for once. Trader Danny was Danny Ames. Celtics didn't do that much, but Eastern Conference didn't see much change either. Yeah, they didn't need to do anything if you're the Boston Celtics. You already have all the pieces to the puzzle. There's no doubt about it. The Celtics are now in the driver's seat. Has a look. Whoa, Chris Middleton. Two for two. That's what you want. No doubt about where that one was headed. Ball's controlled by Boston. Knocked loose. Bucks have it. Holiday. Nice finish at the rim. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. To Horford. Here comes the screen. Horford. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Adeta Kunbo gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. To Marcus Smart. Got it. You know, Ed, so many times we see people flexing on social media in the offseason, but they rarely put in the work, the substance. Not Jalen Brown. This dude's been putting in the grind every single day in the gym. He's ready. Give him two points. High percentage. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Around the perimeter to Marcus Smart. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Grayson Allen. Oh, emphatic slam. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. The Bucks at the controls. Adetokounmpo to Holiday. Marcus Smart pins it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Tatum. Another chance and a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Holiday controls the basketball. Up by six. Ideta Kunbo to Middleton. Ideta Kunbo. Oh, he's oh, and he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Subbing in for the Celtics. Number 20, Jamal Holiday. Jay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you have to turn around defensively and get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. Celtics have it. Probing the defense. Oh, bad pass, and the Bucks have it. To Adeta Kumbo. Jalen Brown rejects it. Foot was on the line. It's a turnover. the three off the mark no good May 2018 Jay the Bucks make the move to Mike Budholzer roster that's built to win now and coach Bud brings stability to a team that had a lot of question marks around the head coaching position Jason Kidd gets let go last year that caused some drama with him and Giannis you hire Joe Prunty he comes in he tries his best but now when you bring coach Bud to the table you bring offensive fluidity and that's what this team needs it's rebounded by the Celtics. Brown into the front court, trailing by 11. Oh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Giannis with it up top. He'll run the offense. To Holiday. Identikunbo. 
Rebound hauled in by the Celtics. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Hood to Cousins. He throws it down. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Bucks at the controls to Holiday. Down low to Cousins. Open look, and he buries it. Defense has to wake up. I mean, this is something everybody can relate to in their lives. It's happened to me while doing broadcasts as well. Sometimes you're physically there, but mentally you're nowhere to be found. We obviously saw one of those same things happen on the court. To Parker. And he's fouled, and he earns a trip to the line. There's a very fine line between maximum effort and carelessness. I'm willing to live with a few mistakes and maximal effort than having to constantly remind my players to close out. First one, counted. Two for two on that trip. Knocked loose, and that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. Schroeder to Jalen Brown. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Brown with it up top. His guys trail by 13. Goes reverse to lay it in. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Giannis shoots. Add two points to the board. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Fires the three. Much needed bucket right there with the three. This game, long way to go. They're back within 10. Ah, this isn't going to be a rollover game. That's the kind of facial expressions you need from somebody who's ready to fight. Bucks at the controls. To Cousins. Shot from the lane won't go. Brown into the front court. They find themselves down 10. Here comes the screen. To Schroeder. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Giannis in control of the basketball. It's an eight-point lead. And the basket good at the rim. Let's see, this is simple. This is where the PG pulls the bigs over to the side and says, we can't allow that to happen. You need to be an enforcer down low. And a throw down. Jay, perhaps that's a start. Those kind of plays get me fired up. That's a momentum play. They look lifeless here in the first quarter, but a dunk like that can get your team going in the right direction. And the defender over pursues, and he's called for it. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. Ed, the reason why this could be the year of the fear of the deer, last season they only had two players that shot over 33% from the three-point line. Now you add the Michael Jordan of Delaware and Dante DiVincenzo and also Pat Connaughton, those are the floor spacers you need. Celtics have it. Giannis Adetokounmpo snatching it out of the air. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Milwaukee with the basketball. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Schroeder with the basketball. Counting down toward a minute to play in a very one-sided first quarter thus far. Here comes the screen. Schroeder. Oh, bad pass, and the Bucks have it. To Adetokounmpo. Oh, straight down the middle for two. 
Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper's wet, too. Mm. Screen coming. Now a steal by Milwaukee. And stuffs it home. Used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. He'll go to the foul line to shoot. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. To Adeta Kumbo. Goes to the left side. To Adeta Kumbo. From the painted area, won't go down. That misses with two seconds to go. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Bucks in control so far.